into next year. Are we still going to be talking about this as a legitimate concern slash question as to whether it's going to be an issue that is pursued by whoever the Democratic nominee is? I don't think so, uh, in all honesty. I mean, we may be talking about taxes because we've, we've always talked about taxes in these debates, and we'll be talking about maybe different schemes, and Jared probably has some other ideas for taxes uh, <laughs> that he might want to put on the table. But I think this one is going to see its day by the time, you know, in a, in a, in a couple months, uh, because it, it's pretty clear that it's unworkable. It's not the kind of thing that's likely to happen. Uh, you know, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren are where they are on it. They will talk about it, but I think it's going to fade. Jared, do you agree? I partially agree, but first let me say happy holidays to everybody, including my old friend Tony, who I don't see enough of these days since he uh, too, left Jared. us for New York. Uh, I, don't, I disagree with one point there. I disagree with the notion that the wealth tax won't be an issue. In fact, it, uh, I'm pretty sure it will be. Now, as Tony suggested, it probably won't be uh, this Warren idea that really can get to, as Robert said, 100 percent confiscatory rates. I don't uh, see a good rationale for that. But the notion that we don't tax wealth uh, much at all, that most uh, wealth accumulation, uh, particularly unrealized gains, goes untaxed, and that there are lots of other ways to get at this. Tony's right. I got a list. And so do, more importantly, all the other candidates. I think that's going to stay on the table. So, Jared, just to dig into that a little bit more, I mean, there have been studies out there uh, done pushing back against a wealth tax and saying that they historically, when they've been implemented in different places around the world, have never raised as much revenue as uh, they promised to. How do you make that? I guess I, I guess how does that yeah. get rectified and, and how do you get past that argument? So uh, good question uh, and two responses. One is that we can learn from mistakes that other countries have made. Uh, Europe, I think, screwed up the base. Uh, if you allow too many exemptions, uh, it's not going to work. Uh, they tax on uh, residency. We tax on citizenship. That's really different. And in these days of, of capital mobility, you got to hold hands with a lot of other countries. And we now have a mechanism to do that. It's called the FATCA. Uh, it, it would have to be beefed up. But on the revenue side, let me say this. I have seen estimates of the Warren revenue uh, uh, tax, uh, the Warren wealth tax, that say instead of collecting three trillion, like she says, or 3.7, uh, we think we'll collect something like between two and three. That's still really high, and in fact, I find it surprisingly high, and it's much needed revenue. So yeah, you can lose. There's so much wealth up there that you can lose a lot of the revenue and still come home with something meaningful. Yeah, Tony, I would just say it that seems the waste as though. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. I just said the ways of getting at it though are pretty are pretty outrageous. I mean, you have to the administrative task of actually getting at all that wealth on an annual yeah. basis mm -hmm. is really onerous. It wasn't just the lack of you know being able to access the revenue. I mean, there are there are ways to avoid you know some of them. Some people give to places like the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities <laughs> to pay Jared. You know, that's a that's tax, a very good you know, shelter. But also you know I'm, I'm sure he's being very productive. But, you know, there, there, are, there are ways to get around it, but that's not even the biggest thing. It's just that it, administering it is really cumbersome, really difficult. Assessing and auditing to try to get at it is really clumsy and difficult. There are better ways to do it. Like yeah. what, so, look, Tony? Um, I don't disagree. Well, look, if you want to just oh, raise ahead, revenue, like, I mean, you know, a lot of economists, you know, if you look at a VAT, you don't have the constitutional problems that you have with the wealth tax, which is something we didn't get into, but it's very clumsy also. You can, it's pro probably unconstitutional. VATs are really efficient. You can raise money that way. They're not direct taxes. They're indirect taxes. So that's a you know, great idea. I could do more of the, you know, the, ca capping the salt tax was, uh, was a good reform, in my opinion. There are other, you know, upper middle class tax protections, uh, like the mortgage interest deduction, that you can do things with. There are lots of things that you can do without getting into these kinds of problems and really administrative burdens. Let me say Captain one thing. Salt tax was a terrible idea, Tony. Sorry, go ahead, Jerry. <laughs> I'm with Tony on that one. Um, hey, look, here's the thing. And, and you can't, if you, especially if we're talking about the Democrats' agenda, you really can't uh, underemphasize this point. Going from a wealth tax to a, a sales tax or a VAT or consumption tax is going from a very highly progressive tax to one that is far more regressive. And so while uh, public finance economists love VATs, and I understand why, taxing consumption versus savings, I get the economic rationale, uh, that is not the path towards greater progressivity. And another reason why all these Democrats 
Bernie, uh, Senator Sanders, why, why they're uh, so, uh, Warren, why they're so into the wealth tax is because of the extent of wealth concentration. You know, the Federal Reserve just came out with some new numbers. The average net worth of households in the top 1% is about 26 million. The average net worth of all those households in the bottom half is about 27,000. So that's a, a thousand yeah. X times the difference. So, so there's a progressivity here that you really try to miss if you go from taxing wealth to taxing consumption.